Welcome into Saturday Agenda. I am Mike Carter, in for Kilmeny Ducart, and welcome and thanks for being a part of your Saturday right here on Newsmax. If you've, this is your first time watching Newsmax, welcome to our network. All right, well, let's get right into it. Now, I'd like to welcome in our special guest for Saturday Agenda, Newsmax contributor Deneen Borelli. Deneen, welcome in. Uh, we have so much to discuss today uh, with Deneen. Why don't we start with the latest investigation surrounding Hunter Biden. Hunter's lawyers met with the DOJ officials this week seeking an update regarding the investigation into their client. Uh, it seems we're finally seeing some potential movement in charges coming against Hunter Biden. Prosecutors are now considering four charges against the president's son. Two misdemeanors of failure to file taxes, a felony count of tax evasion, and a felony gun charge associated with firearms purchase. This comes after an IRS whistleblower revealed that the DOJ is mishandling the Biden investigation. So, Deneen, uh, what do you make of these potential charges? And I guess, is this enough to impact Joe Biden's 2024 presidential run, which he announced this week? Uh, well, thank goodness the whistleblower came forward, and we will wait and see uh, all the information that comes out from that. But look, the media did a huge disservice for, during the 2020 presidential election because there were these allegations out out there and the voters there was there were concerns about voters not knowing it because if they knew then what we know now there's talk that they would not have supported President Biden yeah and we're off, obviously everyone's waiting to see uh, if there is a link ultimately to the president everyone's still right. wondering you know is there a smoking gun that traces back to Joe Biden uh, who is the big guy uh, do, if we do learn down the road uh, Deneen that Joe Biden somehow is uh, being investigated in collusion with his son Hunter Biden's business dealings do people who look at Donald Trump moderates middle of the road voters who say Donald Trump has his legal issues but well Joe Biden's got his own does this help Donald Trump I think it does. And you also have to look at the fact that, according to the current vote polls now, 70% of Americans don't want Joe Biden to run again for president. And nearly half of the Democrats don't want Joe Biden to run for president. So those numbers are out there. We'll see how all of this shakes out. But you also have to look at his failed policies that have harmed our country, one after the other, and the economy as a whole. Yeah, we'll be doing that this hour. All right, Deneen, uh, it's great to have you with us uh, today. And we're going to be talking to a congressman right now. Uh, so the uh, House Republicans responding to this news of the potential DOJ charges against Hunter Biden. Let's welcome in the very latest uh, with New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. Uh, he sits on the House Judiciary Committee along with the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Uh, congressman, great to have you on Saturday Agenda. Uh, as I just mentioned to, with Deneen, uh, it seems we're finally seeing some progress in the form of those charges uh, against Biden's son. Uh, what information from the Judiciary Committee can you tell us uh, is happening with this meeting? Well, you know, we're seeing progress because, quite frankly, uh, the good work of a lot of Republicans on oversight and on judiciary, both committees really pushing to get the real information. Let's remember, and, and you brought this up yourself, that, you know, back a little while ago, they, Biden was actually going to go after the gentleman that owned the store that, you know, repairs computers. And of course, that was all a lie. There really was a computer. There really was there was important information there, and that gentleman did the right thing. But nobody, you know, really brought it up much at that time. Now that we're having these hearings, we're finding out things that there were, you know, forms to purchase a gun, which is kind of interesting to me that, you know, literally Joe Biden's son can't even obey the laws, I guess, that, that his father wants to put in dealing with guns and taking away Second Amendment rights. I'm not sure, but he, you know, anybody else would be in a lot of trouble there. The misdemeanors he has, the tax evasion he has, the corporations that were set up, and this is what the whistleblower is talking about, and we're going to find out more. Corporations that were set up where money was laundered, not to one, not to three, not to maybe to nine to 12 different Biden family members getting money from communist China, and not only communist China and the energy companies that are there, but also getting money from Ukraine and other areas yeah. and some countries that are even worse. So this guy's got a lot of problems. This should have been done a lot earlier, but we're going to stay on him and we're going to keep pushing. The Department of Justice is going to get their arm twisted to tell the truth. And now we've got a whistleblower who's telling the truth out of the IRS. 
Congressman, branching further into the Biden's family tree, we're seeing more evidence now of what's being labeled as the real Biden family business, where at least a dozen members of that family were receiving payments from Hunter's foreign business deals. Your colleague, Congressman James Comer, spoke earlier this week uh, on Newsmax discussing about those findings. Watch this. These LLCs don't appear to be legitimate businesses. Yeah. And so many of the Biden family members uh, have received payments. This is the Biden family business, and it was influence peddling. There were no credible businesses on the Biden end. These weren't, as Biden's lawyers tried to say a few weeks ago when we identified the million-dollar uh, transactions, these were not uh, seed capital payment uh, for Biden and some type of credible business on their end. Congressman Comer went on to say that uh, all of this money went straight into the family members' checking accounts. So uh, Comer says this probe is grounds for impeachment. Do you agree? I do. I, I have been saying for a period of time now, I believe that this president should be impeached with what he's done, and very well maybe. Uh, I also like to know where our, you know, traditional news media is, because, I mean, these are really big stories. Some of this stuff is worse than anything that's ever happened or ever been discussed. You know, somebody said to me, well, now Donald Trump has his problems and Biden has his problems. These are far worse, far more severe, far more, I'm going to use a Donald Trumpism, crooked. I mean, this is really crooked stuff. The whole family's involved, dealing with bad entities. And you've got to wonder, this is what's so important, when the president Biden is making decisions about America that constantly seen the hell hurt America, is he serving America or is he serving China and other countries? Congressman Jeff Andrew joining us from New Jersey. Uh, Congressman, what are the next steps in this investigation? Uh, how, how do, what, what is next? Well, what's next certainly is the whistleblower is just, I think she's chock full of information and we've got to make sure she's protected and to get all that information forthcoming as well as the information that we're requesting from various different entities, both on oversight and in, 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 in my committee. Um, we've really got to get all the information out there. We've got to reveal it, and then we've got to pursue it and see what the best avenue of pursuit is. But to say that impeachment is not one of them is not being accurate. That is something that has to be looked at. This yeah. is really serious business. Taking money from enemies spreading it to illegal corporations, engaging in other illegal activities, dealing with guns and tax evasion, are all intertwined. We don't even know it all yet. This is really complicated, and this is really bad. Do you expect impeachment proceedings to begin before the end of this year? Uh, anything can happen here. We've got to really get, you know, all our T. One thing I want to make sure, we do this, we're going to do it right. So the T's have to be crossed, the I's have to be dotted, but it very well could be. This is, again, I, I don't have to tell you, you just, you look at this stuff, you talk to the average American and say, did you know, you know, A, B, C, D, and E is going on? Did you know about these LLCs? Did you, and, and again, they're not even legal LLCs. What the hell is happening to our country and to our presidency? I mean, this is something we can't tolerate. And when people wonder why this president Joe Biden, again, I'm going to repeat this, but it's worth repeating, is doing so many things that are hurtful to America, but helpful, helpful to the communist Chinese, the CCP, and others, and was involved in Ukraine, too. Believe me, Ukraine has had its share of corruption. So this is something we've got to look at the whole picture. We've got to dig in. Congressman Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey, appreciate your time today. Thank you.